Would you like to learn the most common cloud service models in cloud computing? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Architects and GoCloud Careers, an organization that's dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years now, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades, and I want to help you get cloud hired or cloud promoted. In today's video, we're going to be discussing cloud service models in cloud computing, and we'll be talking about infrastructure as a service, IaaS, platform as a service, PaaS, and software as a service, SaaS. And these are the three most popular types of cloud service offerings. You may hear them referred to as, as cloud service models or cloud computing service models, but realistically speaking, it's the three main offerings of cloud computing. We're gonna begin with infrastructure as a service, otherwise known as IaaS. And infrastructure as a service will offer the highest performance and most customization to the customer. Infrastructure as a service is really on-demand access to the cloud provider's data centers. And this is about getting virtualized data center services, such as virtual machines, whether that be an EC2 instance on AWS, an Azure virtual machine, or a Google Compute Engine instance, but it's infrastructure, storage, networking, and all the backend infrastructure systems that are necessary for running workloads in the cloud. Effectively, infrastructure as a service is your outsourced rented data center. And when you look at infrastructure as a service, it's got a lot of benefits. Primary benefit is you have all the control. So you can promote extreme high availability systems by deploying your systems all over in as many geographies as like you like, or even clouds as you like. Now this is gonna be the lowest latency as well because you can put your systems where they're closest to you and the closest availability zones are data centers. You're going to have the best responsiveness because you can determine what you need. You can pick any amount of CPU cores, any kind of disk performance you need. You can set it up your way. It gives you incredible security because you can control all aspects of it to your security levels. And your security needs may be better or stronger or deeper than the average customer who's getting a different type of service offering. So you've got more, more control here. So let's think about where organizations use this. They can outsource their entire infrastructure to the cloud. They can use this as a hybrid cloud environment. Half your virtual machines in one location, half in the cloud, for example. Great for e-commerce applications, great for Internet of Things applications. Realistically speaking, this is just a great way to do it. We're talking about, literally speaking, just outsourcing your data center. So a couple more examples. AWS, we have EC2 instances. Google, we have Compute Engine instances. Azure, we have virtual machines. They're common examples of infrastructure as a service, otherwise known as IaaS. Now, if infrastructure as a service gives us the most control, the downside of infrastructure as a service is we have the most work to do. We have to manage, for the most part, more systems. And this is where platform as a service comes in, otherwise as known as PaaS. And this is really an on-demand access to pretty much ready-to-use systems for many things. So when we use platform as a service, there's much less of us for, to actually manage as opposed to infrastructure as a service, which means it's much faster to get set up. So by using platform as a service, it allows customers to basically build, test, run, and update their applications very quickly without thinking of the underlying infrastructure. There's much less risk to adopting new technologies because you're only managing the code. So it's a lot easier to collaborate with the team when you're not dealing with a hardware team and a networking team and you're just dealing with the cost software, so it's the code. So the great things about PaaS is there's less things to manage. This platform of the service is easy and it's elegant. Now let's talk about the downsides of this. You are not in control of everything, which means if you need greater performance than the average user, tighter security or more control, you're out of luck here. People use platform as a service, otherwise known as PaaS, because it's less work to do, but you're also giving up control. I'll give you some examples in the AWS cloud, the Azure cloud, and the Google cloud. In AWS, we have Elastic Beanstalk. Upload your code and it sort of just deploys yourself. 
Google App Engine, Azure Web Apps, these are all examples of platform as a service. Platform as a service just provides that kind of agility that we tend to like. Perfect for the cloud native sort of environment. It's a really great thing to do, but just understand we lose control in this environment. So let's talk about software as a service right now. Software as a service, otherwise known as SaaS, is another type of cloud deployment model. In this case, realistically speaking, you're purchasing an application that's ready to go. So there's no custom application development that you need to worry about, no hosting or things that you need to worry about. Pretty much you're just buying software as a service. So you don't get to customize very much here. You don't have any control over the performance. You don't have any control over the security other than the standards, but there's nothing to manage. So it's fast, it's agile, and it's very simple. I'll give you some great examples. Salesforce. Zoom conferences, Cisco WebEx. You know, there's just so many great software as a service platforms and they're very simple. They allow the organization to focus on running their business and just using these great software as a service applications. So what did we discuss today? We discussed various cloud service models in cloud computing. We discussed infrastructure as a service. We discussed platform as a service and we discussed software as a service. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on cloud service models and cloud computing. My name is Michael Gibbs and I'll see you in another video very soon. But before we leave, please make sure that you download our completely free AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate and Professional book. The link for that book is in the description below. And if you're looking for your first cloud architect job, please join us on our completely free How to Get Your First Cloud Job webinar. Again, the link is in the description below. Look forward to seeing you in another video coming very soon. Take care.